In this video, I'm going to be reviewing my Fox launch knee pads. So I've had these knee pads about a month now and they've been really reliable so far and have no signs of wear and tear yet. So while I was doing some filming of the knee pads, I found a dog friend who wanted to be in the video. So continuing on, currently I found the knee pads are have a really sturdy design and they're really comfy to wear and they're not too bulky but give great protection. They're really lightweight, only 191 uh, grams each and let air travel around the back of your knees and a little bit through the front so you don't get too hot. I haven't tried these knee pads in the summer yet but I assume they'd be pretty good as they're quite nice in the winter keeping my knees slightly warm. So at the top of the knee pads there's this like rubbery surface in the inside to keep the knee pads like, in the same position without slipping down your um, leg when you're cycling along or cycling up hills. There's some adjustability uh, in the velcro straps to ensure you have like a strong and comfy fit for even like different legs and different leg sizes. There's really clear online information on how to measure your legs correctly and how to choose some, the right size. The link for that website to like measure the sizes uh, for you will be down in the description below. So when I measured my legs I was at the top end of the small and at the start of the medium. I actually bought both uh, sizes but I tried them both on and I thought the small were a bit tight but so were the medium but I thought I may as well go with the medium as they're a bit looser so I went with the medium and actually they've like loosened up a bit now so I think if they're tight at the start don't worry too much about it because they get looser so one of the main reasons why I actually bought these knee pads over other ones is because there's a special material inside called D30 in like the knee pad area which is soft and moulds to the shape of your knee when under no pressure but when it, it gets like hit or you fall onto like the ground or hit a rock it becomes solid and protects your knee. So D30 uh, behaves a bit like corn flour. So here's some corn flour which I tested. And it's one of the best features of the knee pad. As D30 is so protective and impact resistant, this means that the knee pads are less bulky and other knee pads might not have this system, which most of them actually don't, and they use a different substance. But I think it's worth paying a little bit extra for some like D13 and knee pads as they're a lot more comfortable to wear and effective at stopping like you getting injured when you crash. There are some other brands which have D13 in the knee pads but personally I tried a few and I felt like the, so uh, the Fox's D30 was like the comfiest and the one which moved the most but had the most impact protection. So what's quite good about this is that the Fox D30 knee pads come with uh, a mud guard and all you need to do is thread four zip ties so it doesn't come with the zip ties through the holes and what's quite good about this is on the other side you can use it as another Fox one. It's slightly harder to see as it's like more matte but you can use it both ways which I think is quite cool. So I almost put this in the bin, but luckily I saw the mudguard. I mean, it isn't too hard to see if you know it's there, but it's slightly hard to see if you're not looking out for it. So make sure not to throw that away if you want a mudguard. So I hope you found this review like, useful and you enjoyed it. The link for the knee pads and the sizing for the knee pads will be linked down below in the video description. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.